Chinese President Xi Jinping spoke by telephone on Wednesday with Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky for the first time since Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. Zelensky, in a tweet, described a, quote, long and meaningful call with Xi. In Beijing, a government official said China would send special representatives to Ukraine to hold talks with all parties in an effort to end the crisis. China has repeatedly tried to present itself as a potential intermediary between Moscow and Kyiv. But Ukraine's Western allies have viewed Beijing's diplomatic overtures with heavy skepticism. Xi is the most powerful world leader to have refrained from denouncing Russia's invasion of Ukraine. He made a state visit to Russia last month, a sign of support for Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin. Since February, Xi has promoted a 12-point peace plan for Ukraine, one greeted with caution by Kyiv. But Zelensky has been careful not to appear to reject Chinese offers outright. Ukrainian officials have long been calling on Beijing to use its influence in Russia to help end the war. China says it is positioned to help mediate the conflict because it has not taken sides publicly. U.S. National Security Council spokesperson Jack Kirby last month said that if Beijing wanted it to be taken seriously, it needed to call for Russia to pull back from Ukrainian territory. We encouraged President Xi to advocate for this exact essential key point, which must include the withdrawal of Russian forces from sovereign Ukrainian territory consistent with the U.N. Charter. The White House on Wednesday welcomed the talks between Zelensky and Xi, but Kirby said it was too soon to tell whether it would lead to a peace deal. Western countries warn China's 12-point peace proposal for Ukraine is too vague, offers no concrete path out of the war, and could be used by Putin to promote a truce that would leave his forces in control of occupied territory.